In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a cool video intro for your videos on YouTube in just a few easy steps. So how you can do that is by simply visiting a website called Panzoid and uh, on this website we're going to see a huge gallery of uh, intro videos where, uh, from which we can select the one that suits our needs the best. So what am I now going to do is that I'm going to find uh, simple uh, just a text uh, or a two text uh, line like this and we're going to open this in a clip maker. So before I edit this, I'm going to make sure that it fits uh, the mood of my channel and my video clips. So I'm going to preview this. How you can preview this is by clicking this eyeball here and clicking play. So this looks pretty good to me and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, that I'm going to change this text intro to match the name of my channel. So how to do this uh, is by using these toolbars here on the left and uh, here we see this uh, scene button, the objects button, the effects button and uh, all other uh, useful stuff here uh, which can, we can use to edit and embellish this video. So to change text, which is the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to expand this by simply going uh, down on this uh, uh, left side until we find text. And uh, here we see a uh, text and intro. So we're going to edit this from the front side and the back side. So it'd be the same text as uh, this is a 3D text. And if you leave one field the same, it will portray the text. And on the other side, it will portray another text. So uh, we're going to edit this as e work and press enter. The same we're going to do on the front side as e work and enter. And now we see that this is uh, on the both sides e work. So uh, on the intro part, uh, since our channel name is e work now, we're going to enter now and press enter. This we're going to repeat this here too. So now we're going to preview this, how this looks like. So to me this looks like uh, decent enough to put in some of my videos, if I really need this, but for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you a few uh, basic steps more so you can uh, get this up and running in just a few minutes. And we can add uh, effects like mirror, like flip uh, or whatever uh, you want to do, so I'm going to do this as uh, overlay in darken and we're going to select this. Uh, you see the dark uh, when selected uh, changes the uh, color of a video in uh, some bluish color instead of when we selected hue that we're going to see a different. Uh, this is more color. Uh, so it depends from a video clip you're creating. You can select all kinds of things here and edit this. Uh, uh, as many times as you like. Uh, as, uh, the only thing I forgot to mention is that you cannot edit video clips here before making an account on Panzoid. Uh, but Panzoid is free and it's not spamming your emails, so it is recommended to open an account here so you can save your creations and potentially uh, allow other people to change them uh, to suit their video needs. Uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is uh, that you can add your own music to the video clip. Uh, you have this music button here and uh, you see the audio file you can hear selected from somewhere on your PC. Just make sure to download the royalty free music in order to, for your channel not to get banned because of using copyrighted content. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to select a resolution in which uh, we want our intro to be made. We do this by selecting this uh, tick in a box and uh, creating 
4K, 2K, 1080p or 720p, uh, I always recommend that you do intro video in uh, the highest resolution if possible, uh, as it is uh, way easier to scale it down than to scale it up. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to uh, select this 1080p and 30 frames per second. Uh, the uh, third uh, most important part is that uh, you want to make sure that your video intro does not take too long. Uh, this video intro can be cut in uh, our video editing software. I personally work in Sony Vegas and uh, uh, I don't have problems for this being uh, 15 seconds, but uh, the ideal is to be between uh, 7 and 15 seconds, so I'm going to leave this as it is. Uh, for the new channels and for the channels that are uh, in different genres, uh, it, it will be wise to uh, Google for how long the video intro should take uh, on your genre videos and render these videos uh, what you make here accordingly to the information you get on the previous question. So now we're going to download this and how to do this is by clicking this arrow and the line and uh, here we, uh, we're going to select the quality of a render. I always choose extreme quality but this is slow uh, and for the purpose of this video I'm going to select balanced and an MKV video file which is a compression method but I'm going to later to explain you how you can uh, convert this MKV file to an MP4 or AVI file so you can use it with the most video editing softwares. So we're going to start video render and allow this. Alright, so uh, we're going to select this download video and uh, after we see these ads here, uh, the video will start downloading and here it is. Next thing we're going to do is uh, that we're going to select video that uh, we downloaded to be converted into the MP4 file so that our editing software can easily manage it. So how can we do that is by going to Google and uh, typing mkv to mp4 converter and uh, the program I, I like to use is this uh, video online convert because after we select our file on video we can do all kinds of setups here you can see uh, but I'm not going to do anything now I'm just going to select this convert file and uh, wait for this to be uploaded after this is uploaded, we're going to wait until it is processed and the uh, download process should start automatically. Uh, now you see this uh, video one uh, is going to be downloaded and we're going to play it. Uh, that would be it and uh, if you like this video uh, don't forget to throw some thumbs up and uh, some comments down in the line. Also I have created an Instagram profile and a Facebook profile so don't forget to check me out there too. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe. See you until next time.